All right, welcome to another installment of Always All Wheel Drive. Now today we're doing something a bit special. We're doing a track that's only around three hours out of Sydney, and it's something I've read a lot about on the four-wheel drive forums, groups, and things like that. It's one of the easiest and closest, I guess in a way, four-wheel drive track to Sydney that you can do a bit of camping, a bit of touring, and a bit of historical sightseeing. So as you can see, the bridle track itself. And so one thing I really like is that it says four-wheel drive only. So what we're gonna do is use our all-wheel drive do the whole track and try and head up to Hilland, do a bit of lunch, and then camp along the Turin River on our way to Safala. So sit back, crack open a cold one and enjoy the ride. All right, so the bridle track. Now, apologies for the squeak. My suspension has decided to remind me that it is there. So it is just as annoying for you as it is for me. So just a bit about the bridle track. Why is it even called the bridle track? So the track was originally built in the mid 1850s to support all the gold rush initiatives that happened out around here. And because the track was so narrow back then, they had to guide the horses using their bridle, which is really cool. So that's why it's called the bridle track. I mean, I guess you can get made on it if you want to. It's just a lot of dirt and dust, but that's why it's called the Bridal Track. And so what the plan is today is to drive all the way down along the Macquarie River, as you can see on the left, uh, try and grab a bit of lunch at Hilland, and then try and camp along the, uh, the Chuan River, which head towards Asafala as well. So, I mean, to be fair, it's a very easy track. I've done a lot harder so far into it but i think it's still a great way just to get out of sydney into the great outdoors and just really give it a go all right so as you can see there's actually a whole lot of camping and free camps all around here it's not in a national park it's actually in I think just crown land, but correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. I want to avoid the camping here and just really push on towards here land and beyond. But I mean, you can even see there's like drop toilets and things like that. So if you want to bring a family here, from what I can see right now driving, it's just such a nice, pleasant, delightful place that is super easy to get to from Bathurst in turn from Sydney. All right, so we're just having a small snack on the way in. We are really taking our time going through this track. I mean, check out all these views. Have a look at that. And check out these other shots as well. Really, really nice part of the world. I mean, I know it's a super easy track, but I can't recommend this enough. So we're gonna have a small snack and we'll keep going. Bluff. This looks honestly incredibly steep, but I've seen what looks like to be another territory doing this. So if they can do it, I can do it. But man, I can see why there were no caravans here. It is steep. But apparently this has been graded and repaired after some rock slide and stuff. So it's steep, but I reckon we can do it. Um, my little strategy actually is to keep the heater on. So the heater will draw away excess heat from my car so that hopefully I don't cook my transmission or cook my motor as it were. So, oh, here we go. Wow, this is just, oh, Christ, the lighting. Here we go. Up we get. Oh, fish. Nice and steady. I mean, I'm kind of glad they put guardrails on because it's a long way down to the Macquarie River.
All right, just a bit of a small loo break at the, where are we at? At the Johnson's Hole picnic camping area. No shooting, well, fortunately we don't do that. So yeah, no, this actually looks really nice. Uh, there's a few campers here. I have to say though, this weather is tremendous. Like, holy heck, this weather is so good. I mean, we couldn't have chosen a better weekend. Last weekend was actually really pissing rain. So I think we got incredibly lucky planning and doing the bridal check now. So we're back on the blacktop and have a crack at this. We're at the Hill End Historic Village. Oh wow. Well, you know what? Let's go check it out everyone. So this is what you mean. So let's have a go. We have done the bridal track. How cool was that? So we've done it and now we've got all these cool signs that says village center. I think we should do that. Let's let's go to Hill End. Alright, okay, so we made it to Hill End. Beautiful little town, let's go check it out. What an absolutely top spot that we found. There's the local Royal Hotel, a very old building here, and check out the surround seat. I mean, there's beer garden and there's beer garden. We'll have a bit of lunch and then start working out. We're gonna to camp tonight. All right, so we've left Hilland, had a beer, had a meal staring at kangaroos as you do we're gonna find our campsite and hopefully we can camp yeah we'll just do that Now what a top spot this is. So this is uh, Wallaby Crossing, if I recall, along the Turon River. I was kind of looking for something like this. Turns out we found it. So I'm really stoked to set up camp. I think we're gonna set up the swag, set up the tent, and get a fire going and crack open a couple of beers. So yeah, I'm, I'm really keen to camp here. I've never camped here before. We're only a few k's away from Safala as well. 
so it really is a top spot it was raining a lot uh last weekend but it looks like it hasn't really affected much over here which is great and there's even a few creek crossings on the other side which we might actually give a crack tomorrow morning and do a bit of a chew on adventure so let's get camp set up We've actually gone with the June swag this time. Now, you may remember in a few previous videos, I've used a rooftop tent. The problem with the rooftop tent that we have is that you can't put a solar panel or anything on it. And I kind of feel it's a bit of wasted space because the Ford Territory isn't that big internally, especially compared to like a Land Cruiser, a Utro, Hilux, anything like that. So I actually ended up taking it off. We're gonna use the swag this time. I have used the swag once before on a camp trip down in Lake Lyle at the end of the year, uh, last year. It went really well, really enjoyed it. So me and the missus are going to be using the swag this time. I find that the swag is actually the same size as a rooftop tent, to be honest. And it means that I can actually have a solar panel, I can have recovery gear, I can have a shovel, all mounted on top as well. So what we're going to do, we'll probably start cooking around six o'clock. Uh, we've got all the firewood ready, the fridge is going a treat, and I think it's time to crack open a beer, but honestly, have a go at how nice this place is. We're very fortunate that there was no one else in the spot here. Uh, there's, I think, two other campers here, but it's still such a nice, peaceful spot. So check out all these shots. All right, chef. Thank you. So tonight we're doing burgers. Burgers. Yes. What burgers? What sort of burgers? Four wagyu patties. Ooh. Swiss cheese, onion on a simple bun. On a simple bun.
All right, so we've all woken up from camp. It was a fantastic sleep. It was a bit rocky though. So uh, we'll do our best just to take it easy this morning, make a coffee, we might have a bit of breakfast. And then I think we might give following the chew on river a bit of a crack as well, which would be really nice. So we're just gonna slowly pack up camp. Won't take too long. Roll up the swags, tent, and uh, we'll probably get on our way in a little bit. So yeah, very good night, very good morning, and this adventure is not over just yet. Alright, so we pretty much all packed up camp, all good to go, swag is up, and I think it's time to do a bit more of the chew on river, we're going to do a bit of a water crossing as well which will be fun, so let's get stuck into it. All right, so we followed the Chulon River uh, past the campsite. It's actually really fun. There's a few creek crossings and river crossings as well, but we might end up turning back only because um, I didn't really plan to know how far this track will go. Uh, my new track's offline maps isn't offline. At the one time, unfortunately, I actually do need it. So I'm gonna make the safe decision to turn back and to head towards uh, Safala. But this has been really fun though. So. We've got the 4B across, yeah, uh, two river crossings, which is really fun. So I think we'll turn around, head back, and see if we can get out of here. So we made it to historical Sofala, our second town on our little journey through the high country past Bathurst. So I think we're just gonna walk around, suss it out, and then have a bit of lunch at the pub. I can't help but notice this beautiful, probably 84. W126 Mercedes S Class. I'm a big enthusiast. I have actually owned one before. Those in Safala know what's up. Uh, 
All right, everyone, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. What a fantastic weekend this was. We did a couple of creek crossings. We checked out the bridal track. We checked out the Chiron River, the Macquarie River. Went to Hilland and also checked out this nice little place called Safala. I highly recommend get on out here. I did, I did all this in an all-wheel drive and frankly, even just a regular all-wheel drive car would have been more than fine. I had an absolute ball with other messes and my mate. So, you know, the drill, like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything you want to see on the channel, please drop it below. Also, uh, check out my Instagram. You see a little behind the scenes and things going on with the vehicle and our trips as well. So until next time, get out there, all-wheel drive all the time. See ya.